know what I'm saying? I, I know you and Ron butted heads a little bit, man. What's going on with him? Because he was I, I, he was on the front lines. I mean, this guy's uh, uh, he was going for trying to get bills passed and this, this, and that. And and um, I thought you and him were were, were, were real solid. Um, he ain't faltering, is he? So here, here, here's, here's the thing with Ron Savage, right? When Ron first came out, I wanted to bust his head to the white meat. Because my whole thing was, you come out out of nowhere when I already resolved my problems with, 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 with Bam. Bam already pretty much said, listen, I'm not going to do this no more. I'm changing my life, even though you can't believe a pedophile. And I'm going to do certain things to fix what I've done in the community, even though you can't really fix that. Like, for example, he was supposed to um, open some type of center for the youth and deal with the youth to repair some of the damage that he's done. He was supposed to put a tombstone on B.O.'s grave, and he was supposed to um, resign from the Zulu Nation. That was supposed to be his last year. Ron Savage comes out of the blue six months later, and out of nowhere my video pops up on Star. I didn't feel like that was a coincidence. So I'm like, yo, what, what the fuck is the angle that this dude is coming from? And that's what started me coming, that's what made me come back out, because Ron wasn't the first one out. I was the first one out. But Ron was the first one that the public, like, everybody got wind of, because I took my video down off of Facebook, like, within um, the first 24 hours. So pretty much, Ron, I was upset, because I'm like, yo, who the fuck, I heard of Bee Stinger. I've never met him. Bee Stinger's not the type that would even, that Zulu Nation is big, so you're not going to know everybody in the Zulu Nation. But Beast Finger was around before me. He's older than me by 10 years. So he was around in the early days, and when he came back out, all of the tension came out because everybody felt like, well, damn, did you put this nigga up to doing it? There was rumors of him supposed to be being able to kill me, and I called Bam on the phone. I was like, yo, Bam, that's talking about killing me? Bam was like, I don't know what you're talking about. So I told Bam, I was like, listen, all right, just make sure I get me something to protect myself. I'll make sure you make sure I in my exact words because I'm not gonna lie. I said make sure you got three of them own the things for me to protect my fucking self. He was like talk to Topic. I said talk to Topic. I'm talking to you, motherfucker. He was like nah, talk to Topic. He didn't want to talk. I'm like listen, I don't do that tape recording shit. That shit that Ron Savage do. If I'm talking to you, I'm never gonna take tape record your conversation, not without you knowing. If I'm recording you, I'm telling you I'm recording. I'm not gonna record nobody. That's not my style. I was enraged like that. We don't get like we don't get down like that. So more or less, um, when Ben told me to talk to Top Peak, I told him to go fuck yourself, and that's how I ended up on Star. So with um, with with with, with Ron Savage, after a while, with me seeing him all over the place like that, I was like, you know what? I'm still not feeling that. Something in my gut told me not to trust the motherfucker. Now, when I listened to his story, I knew for a fact that he, Bam did what he did because he knew too many of, of, of Bam characteristics that I knew that Bam did. I knew I, it's like, it was familiar stuff. So I'm like, okay, I know what he's saying is true. But later on, yeah. I come to find out that his motives for, for coming forward, he was pushed into coming forward. You see what I'm saying? And... Yeah. The dude that pushed him to come out pretty much um, had a problem with Bam. He was he was down with Bam, and Bam owed him money. And that's why he pushed he pushed Ron Savage to come out on Bam. Now, uh, Ron Savage, all he did with his manipulative ass was just basically use the politicians that he ran with in a fight that they was already fighting and put his name on top of it. He was an opportunist, and he was slick with it, too. So he came in like, he came, he rolled in like a, 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 a white shiny knight on his armor And that's what he looked like But then down the line I believe personally He took a payoff His best friend on Facebook Who was a friend of his life You know been, that's been around him Since she was 15 years old She said pretty much that Bam got a gag order I mean uh, Ron Savage got a, a gag order from Bam where he can't talk about it no more, and the only the only way that Bam can do that to him is if he took money. And what makes it even worse, the bitch ass nigga is on tour and going around on tours with Mickey Benson. Mickey Benson is the one in the audio, which is Ice T's manager, that was telling him, "Motherfucker, 
You know ain't nobody raped you. You know you wanted it. That's not rape. So now the same motherfucker that you, you, leaked, your, you leaked your own video, your audio, you gave it to me to leak. You put it out there. You gave it to Star. You put this shit out there on him, and now you're running around with him. So the same dude that's telling you he's the founder of the Zulu Nation, now you're running with the Zulu Nation, so you hear nothing from Braun Savage no more. He's just silent. Wow. Wow, that's, that's crazy. That's crazy, man, because he was, I mean, he was on this show. You know what I'm saying? And it, it, it's fucked up. It's fucked up. And see, this is what I tell The only thing I will say is about Ron Savage, Ron Savage, I will say it did happen to him. I firmly believe it because the things that he said, I know it happened to him. But, and I'm not going to make an excuse for Bam taking advantage for somebody that, 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 that's a child to him. I'm not going to make no excuse for Bam doing that. And the next thing, when I, Ron Savage is a sucker. He's a, he's, a, he's a sucker, but at the same time, how many people that, did Michael Jackson pay off? How many families did Michael Jackson actually pay out $20 million to? And people still running around talking about Mike didn't do that. I don't give a fuck what anybody say. Once you paid out $20 million, you just said you're guilty. 